Hi everyone. The story that many of us know of Jesus walking on the water comes from uh, Matthew 14. Matthew 14 is unique in that it's the one that also talks about uh, Peter walking on the water. And that's what I want to talk about a little bit today. The story is that Jesus sent his disciples on in the boat and they're rowing against the wind. They're not making much progress. Jesus dismisses the people that were on the land. He prays and then he goes and he joins them in the walking on the water towards them. The story says that they thought it was a ghost walking towards them and Jesus said, take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Often we th see things that we may not understand and we become afraid because it's beyond our understanding or beyond what we've experienced and so it naturally raises some anxiety within us and then Peter says well Lord if it's you tell me to come out on the water too and Jesus responds by saying come <laughs> come and Peter steps out of the boat and he's actually walking on the water he's 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 doing that but then it says that he noticed the wind in other words, he noticed how the wind was blowing the water. The, the wind was against him, kicking up some waves, and he, under, he began to see that, and he became frightened. And it was at that point that he begins to sink. And he cries out for Jesus. And Jesus tells them to, uh, he saves them, and then tells them to come and uh, in the boat. And he says, you have little faith, why did you doubt? You know, I think part of the, the call for us is to think about this idea of Jesus calling us out of our boat. Even in the midst of uncertain times like a storm, and he, he, he beckons us out, he almost lures us out into this infinite horizon of possibilities in the water, in the ocean. And I think God does that because that's the place where we have nothing to hang on to except Jesus himself. In other words, God wants to get our attention. And it's only in those places when we're out of the safety of the boat, we're lured away from the security of finances, of situation, or... Um, those kinds of things that, that kind of give us moorings that we hold on to. It's only when we step out into an unknown that it's in those places where we have to leave the security behind and as Hebrews says, keep our eyes fixed on Jesus. That is one of those things that I think is important for us to, to think about particularly in a time when there is lots of uncertainty right now on lots of different fronts. We have um, pandemic, we have racial unrest, we have economic uncertainty, you name it. There's lots of things to be concerned about. So in many ways, we're like in that boat in the middle of the storm. And Jesus is saying, come, come. Step away from the things that you think will give you security and keep your eyes fixed on me. For you are the one who will be able to do that. That's my charge for us today. Is to invite us to step out of the boat. Step away from the things that we think provide the security that we so desperately need and instead put our trust in Jesus. Keep our eyes fixed on Jesus because in that deep water there is the place where Jesus can do amazing things through us and in us. That's my prayer for us this day. So as the great uh, pastor and writer, and I would say even theologian says, uh, John Ortberg says, get out of the boat. Get out of the boat. The water's fine. <laughs>
It's fine because Jesus is there. Let me pray for us. Lord, I ask that you would help us to step out of the boat, step out of our comfort areas, step out away from the security and put our trust in you and keep our eyes fixed on you. That is what I pray for, for all of us who watch this this day. That we would do one thing that would push us a little bit out. Lord, help us to do that. Help us to do that. Give us the opportunity to do that in some small way, even today. I ask that in your name. Amen. Well, we have the uh, ICA food drive on Saturday morning that you can be a part of. I um, invite you to be a part of that. And I think there's going to be another um, prayer gathering on Tuesday evening at 530 in the parking lot at Oasis Church right next to Faith. So um, we'll, be, we'll be a part of that too, and, and you're invited to be there as well. So I hope you have a good day, and I look forward to seeing you for worship on Sunday at 10 o'clock, whether it's in person or online. God bless. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.